Hi guys, so I'm looking at this repository from yesterday where I showed how to make a flattened bundle open API spec from something with so many refs. And then I thought, yeah, now that I have the open API spec here, like what would it take to show a nice open API document for other people to look at my repository and see my API definitions? So there are many tools to do this, and there are paid ones, and there are free ones, like Swagger comes to mind. Right? But I just wanted to keep it as simple as possible with as little tools as possible. So I am right now married to, to uh, Redockly. Right? So now I'm using it in the bundle open API spec. It just takes this guy and then flattens it. Right? And then I read more, and they do have something to generate the HTML file. Right? The, the, it, it generates this. HTML file with your open API spec. So the script is npx readoctly, the command is build docs, you feed it your file that you want it to generate things from. I'll put into, we're going to output the docs folder uh, because this is the default folder and I think the only folder that GitHub Pages works with. And then we're just going to create a file here. So we can just uh, kill this guy. In fact, what we should do is rm rf docs right and then yeah just make a new one all right so it's so let's try that and then run generate open api docs so it just takes it and then generates it and let me see if i can find that in here and then if you open it voila right we have super nice amazing open api docs ready to go it's so nice right wonderful okay and we don't have to uh, go elsewhere probably. Uh, so the, now that we have that, so we can just check that in, right? We have that, but then we, well, I just want it to be like somewhere near my readme. It probably won't be embedded in the readme, but it can go in GitHub Pages because GitHub, oops, GitHub Pages is useful for like, serving static content. Okay. Uh, so let me see. So only, yeah, only this change. I'm just going to be a pro and impudently push the master because this is a simple change. Uh, name it, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, now after that, once you have the HTML file from BW, all you have to do is enable the GitHub pages, right? So if you go to settings, if you go to pages, a lot of busy UI, but it's okay, like deploying from a branch is fine. I'm just going to say, hey, just keep it on main and looks like it can be in root or docs. Uh, like, it doesn't look like you can uh, customize it, but docs is fine, I guess. Then you just put it there. Um, and then it says your site was deployed, whatever. Okay, yeah, okay, it ran some job. Good. Um, and then up top here, it says your site is live at blah, blah, blah. So if we go to it then, uh, like an idiot, it says page not found because, uh, like, it's not going to the HTML file, of course. But if we, what is our file name? So if you go to that one, it, then we see it right there. So what we can do then is you know, we take this, right? We take this link, and then we go to our README, and we have this link here, right? Copy paste right there. So whatever your GitHub uh, repo, and then on top of that, just the name of the file. It auto goes to docs, super unintuitive, but that's how it works. And then I add a nice badge here, which you can just copy paste. So on the, when it's deployed, when it's deployed, it just looks like, uh, it just looks like, like this, right? It's not embedded, but you, know, you just click on it, and then boom, free open API docs for your service of choice. I can check this out at redoctly ref flat open API spec of my, Repositories. This, this was just an example just to uh, show the flattening of an open API spec and then schema testing it a little bit with Sebastian's plugin. Uh, but now we can just add the API documentation. So enjoy.